Hello and welcome back to Nerd Doc. In this video, we're going to review the first two episodes of the Hawkeye series on Disney+. The media has only been given access to the first two episodes, so this won't be a complete series review, but it should give you a general idea of what the show's about and what to expect. This is a spoiler-free review, so we won't discuss anything that isn't in the trailers or has already been announced. First, let's take a look at the vitals. Hawkeye consists of six one-hour episodes. In traditional Marvel Disney Plus fashion, the episodes vary in length, with most being closer to 45 minutes, including credits. The series kicks off on November 24th with the first two episodes. From there, one additional episode will go live every Wednesday at midnight Pacific until all six episodes are available. A good portion of the Hawkeye series is based on the Matt Fraction comic book run. Fraction is also credited as a consulting producer on the series. The major Marvel characters in the show are Clint Barton, also known as Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, who will eventually become Hawkeye, presumably, Jack Duquesne, also known as the Swordsman, Maya Lopez, also known as Echo, and Yelena Belova, who is basically the new Black Widow. I want the raise. The first two episodes of Hawkeye make it clear that while Clint Barton is the main character, this is just as much Kate Bishop's series. We've seen hints that the Young Avengers are coming, and this series helps progress toward the formation of that team. We also know from Disney Plus Day that an Echo series is coming, likely sometime in 2023 or 2024, which as we've already discussed, is heavily rumored to include Daredevil and Kingpin. While there's a fair amount of action in the first two episodes of Hawkeye, it has a different tone compared to the Disney Plus Marvel series that have come before it. Not only is there a holiday theme, although not quite as pronounced as the trailers make it seem, this series has to make time to introduce main characters. We already knew Wanda, Vision, Loki, Falcon, and the Winter Soldier from the Marvel movies, so there was no need to spend time introducing these main characters in each of their series. Hawkeye is different because, while we know Clint Barton, he's only half the puzzle. A good portion of the first two episodes are spent getting to know Kate Bishop and her family, as well as establishing a friendly relationship between Kate Bishop and Clint Barton. We see how the Bishop family is wealthy, the tech Kate has access to, and other little hints that show Kate is a formidable opponent, even if she's not quite up to Hawkeye's level just yet. The pacing is brisk and leaves you wanting more at the end of each episode, and Kate Bishop is a fun new addition to the Marvel family. Haley Steinfeld plays the character a little clueless, but hopefully that's to allow the character room to be mentored by Hawkeye and grow into the eventual leader of the Young Avengers. I think it's because I'm generally just pretty chill. You know, I'm not like, oh my god, Hawkeye! <laughs> Definitely not chill. There are also enough new characters that you may want to start browsing through the Marvel fandom wiki after you've seen both episodes, but don't worry, we've got you covered there with several more Hawkeye-related videos in the description below. If you're a fan of the comics, while there are little nods to minor characters that you might not have thought would make an appearance, there are also significant changes to Kate's origins and changes to some of the other new characters as well. Most of these changes are done to make the series fit better within the MCU, for example, Kate's backstory has been changed so that it ties in directly with previous MCU events, but given the sensitive nature of Kate's story in the comics, that may dishearten some fans. It's too early to tell just how good the Hawkeye series will be. Based on the first two episodes, it probably won't have the same social impact as WandaVision or Loki, but if some of the rumored characters like Kingpin actually do show up, it could be really interesting to see where this series leads. For now, it's about what you would expect out of a Marvel Disney Plus show. If you haven't really gotten into any of the other Marvel series, Hawkeye won't change your mind, but if you enjoyed all the others, you should have fun with the Hawkeye series as well. For now, that's our review of the first two episodes of Hawkeye. We'll have a Young Avengers video coming over the next few weeks before our Spider-Man coverage, so stay tuned for all of that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with someone who enjoys Marvel movies and streaming shows.